Severe, pervasive and irreversible. Three frankly scary words used by the IPCC this week to describe the ongoing threat of climate change. Depressing it might be, but you can see why this story has been getting heaps of media attention. The IPCC doesn't use words like this lightly, and one of the reasons this is so worrying is the threat to our food from problems like drought, heat waves and flooding. Climate change is already cutting crop supplies, but things are set to get even worse over the next few decades, with yields of several staple crops predicted to be cut by as much as 25%. Fish catches are also predicted to drop, but this time by as much as 40-60%, to 60%, and that's due to issues such as ocean acidification. And increasingly scarce food supplies could lead to serious price hikes, making a bad situation even worse. And the irony is what we choose to eat is creating many of these problems in the first place. Factory farming has helped create a global population of heavy meat eaters, and that's creating shed loads of greenhouse gas emissions. It's now said that agriculture contributes 14.5% of our total greenhouse gas emissions. So what's the solution? Well, as one of the report's co-authors says, cutting down on meat and dairy is absolutely key. Interestingly, food may prove invaluable in the fight against climate change. The threat of rising energy prices or the loss of fragile habitats, for example, may not prove to be as effective as the threat of a future with less and less food. Hit the link below to find out more about the connections between factory farming and climate change.